Outboard analog gear like compressors and equalizers can add a lot of tone and character to your recordings and mixes. And plus they're fun to work with. And Studio One makes it really easy to integrate them into your sessions. Okay, and so now in Studio One to get things configured, we need to do a few things. First, I'm gonna just go ahead and add a track here just to keep things separate. It'll make life easier. And I'm gonna add two plugins. I'm gonna add a tone generator. It's gonna be our sound that we'll use to balance the levels. And then I'm gonna also add a plugin called Pipeline. And Pipeline allows us to route audio out and then back into the DAW through our interface so we can use analog gear. Now to do that, we have to tell uh, basically Pipeline here where the analog gear is. So we just go in and I already have things configured. I could just use line out and then I could go on the other side and use line you know, input five in. Uh, but what you normally would do is go into audio IO setup. We'll start with inputs and we'll go add. And I'm just gonna add one here. Again, it's gonna be on, in this case, input number five, and I'll rename it as Poltec, so I know what it is. And I'll go to the output tab, and I'll do the same thing. And once again, I need to choose number five here because that's where we're going to be. So we'll Poltec, okay. So now we have that set up, and we can just click apply. They'll become available, and okay. Now we're gonna tell Pipeline to use those, so I'll choose my Poltec output five and my Poltec input five. So I'm sending audio out of output five through the Poltec back in on input five. And uh, then we'll go ahead and use the tone generator to balance this. But before we do that, we need to synchronize everything because there's some latency coming in and out. That's really easy to do here. We just click auto and it basically pings a sound through a uh, back and forth through the interface, through the Poltec and tells us what the latency is. And now everything will be in sync, whether we have in the box plugins or analog hardware. Yeah, if I decrease the buffer size, I can make the latency less, but I'm mixing here, so it really doesn't matter. And now we'll just go ahead and start the tone generator. I use about 170 Hertz for balancing. I find that's a good frequency. And I also know with my particular interface and configuration here that I'm good to be somewhere in and around minus, I think roughly 6.9 uh, 6 and that return here about 7.3. So again, this is about balancing the volume level in and out so that it's the same through the analog gear as it is when you're not using the analog gear. Let's go ahead and click the tone generator and we'll see. Okay, and you can see that these two level meters are the same. Let's try turning the plug in, in other words, the analog gear on and off. And so that sounds really in balance to me. You can also do a check by adding a, like a VU meter up. And so if I do that, So that's really close here. So we know that we're in balance. Once that's done, we wanna save this as a preset so we don't have to do it every time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and name this device. I'll call it again, the Poltec. And I'm gonna go up here into presets and I'm gonna store a preset called Poltec. And the description could be, you know, Poltec EQ and let's go okay. Once that's done, we can go ahead and close these plugins down. We'll actually delete this track. We don't need it anymore. Now I'm gonna use this here on my baseline, but you can use it on any track you want. So all I need to do is go and throw an insert on the base uh, track here. And again, it'll be pipeline this time. So we got pipeline, I'll pin it so it doesn't go away. And all we need to do is ping this here, but first I'll choose the preset, Poltec, and everything's gonna be configured. Now my levels are configured and my input and output are configured. I'll click auto. It again is gonna calculate the latency. Once that's done, we're ready to go. I'll turn this off and I'll hit play on the baseline here for you to hear. And so now we have the audio insert. All we can do is go ahead and change the EQ now, make the sound a little different. Let's do that. Okay, and we have it there. So the, the interface is now working. We have our Poltec EQ inserted as a plugin. We can use that for mixing purposes. We can adjust it in the mix if we like. Now, when I set up the IO, I made one specifically called Poltec on input and output number five. And that's fine if it's gonna be there all the time. But if you're gonna use a variety of different analog devices through the same inputs and outputs, 
You may just want to label them with the input numbers, but you can still create presets and pipeline so that you have those levels balanced for each one. So it's really handy that way. And now that you have Studio One configured to use analog gear, you might want to check out this sound enhancement processor or maybe a new free plugin that you can use along with it.